Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a bit of an unhaul. This is actually gonna be, I think like a two part video. In this video, I'm gonna be going through the books on this shelf and down here um, because I'm gonna be taking them to free little libraries. I have three other shelves up here um, that are like double stacked. So there's this deck and there's more books behind um, that I'm gonna be unhauling, but putting on my Pango. Um, but I'm not exactly sure which books up there I actually wanna get rid of and which ones I wanna keep. So I'm still deciding on these. So I thought today I would go through all the books that I for sure am gonna be taking to a free little library. And I'm gonna be doing that today and hopefully getting rid of all of them. Um, I have a few local free little libraries. They're of different sizes, but there's one that's quite large. So I'm gonna go to that one last and hopefully put in all of the books that I have left over from the other ones. I'm gonna go through these kind of fast because I have a lot. Um, I'm getting rid of them for various different reasons. I'm not putting them on my Pango for various different reasons. I don't know, They're just for whatever reason, I don't think that they'll sell on my Pango or I've tried and they didn't, or they're not in any condition for me to be selling for any amount of money. So I'm just putting them in free libraries. Um, so first off, we have a Marquis de Sade collection. I have read through some of these stories and I do like the Marquis. Um, I enjoy his stories, but um, these kind of collections I'd never ever reach for. So I would much rather purchase his stuff in like short collections than have these types of big tomes that just sit on my shelf and I never ever pick up because they're so chunky and intimidating. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Christmas in London by Anita Hughes. I've never read this. I don't think I'm ever gonna read it. Spiritless, but actually not by Kyle Mitchell. I have tried to read this. I DNF'd it. I don't like it. I, 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 I actually kind of feel <laughs> bad about putting this in a free library and somebody else picking up it and not knowing what they're getting into and reading it. I'm sorry, future person. This is, anyway, I'm getting rid of this. Um, this is book two in the, I forgot what it's called. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. It's right on the, it's right on the cover. Um, this is book two. I have book two and book three. I've never read book one and I haven't came across book one. I don't think I'm ever going to read them or if I do, I'll just get them through my library. They're very common. Um, so The Girl Who Played With Fire. I'm going to get rid of this. 100 Days of Solitude. This is one that I would like to read at some point. Classic. Um, but I don't absolutely love this edition. And I did pull this out of a free library, so it's just gonna go back in. If I ever decide to read this, I will just probably listen to the audio. <clears throat> the Club Dumas by Arturo Perez, whatever. Um, I got this because I really love Ninth Gate and um, this kind of has that kind of stuff and there's cool pictures in here and that kind of stuff I accidentally I accidentally spilt water on it so it's got some water damage and this is another one that maybe I don't need a physical copy of so I'm just gonna put it in a free library I never got around to reading it I feel like I need to read other books first before I read that and whatever I'm just I'm getting rid of it this is an arc that I never got to um I'm, I'm not really super interested in it, but I'm, I'm, I've had it for since 2020 and I've never read it. It's been three years. It's no longer an arc or it's no longer a new release. I'm getting rid of it. It's The Poison Garden by Alex Marwood. I think this is like a, um, something about a cult, mystery thriller, something like that. <clears throat> This is an astrology book that I don't really need. I don't really love it, but if you're looking to learn about houses, it's a basic one. That's that. 
I have a bunch of books that are um, naked hardcover, so I'm gonna get rid of these. This is an edition of Dracula that I have that's a naked hardcover. Um, I have a different one that I prefer, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. This, I think, was actually in a previous unhaul. It's just been kind of floating around between here and my car and my closet, and I still haven't gotten rid of it. I'm getting rid of it today. It's an Edgar Allan Poe Complete Tales and Poems collection. Again, I don't want these big bind-ups anymore. Some of the editions are really pretty. This one is not. <laughs> I think, I can't remember if I got this through a free little library or maybe thrift books. I can't remember. Um, but I will never, I will never pick this up. It's just, it's too big, too junky. I don't want it. Another one similar to that is this edition of Grimm's Fairy Tales. Um, I think I got this off of Thrift Books. It's a bit jacked up. I do like the cover, but I think I would prefer to get one of like the really pretty editions of it if I decide to repurchase something like that. Um, Mira Grant's Parasite. I have not read this one yet. I would like to read it eventually. I'll probably just listen to the audio. Um, this one got water damage, so whatever. I have this big stack of mass market paperbacks that I rarely read, and these ones specifically, I don't think I will. A Heart of Blood and Ashes. I picked this up a while back for um, someone's book club. I think it was Riley's book club. I never got around to it. I don't think I'm going to end up reading it. So going into a free, li free library. Um, Women Who Run With Wolves, Fahrenheit 451. Um, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden. I don't know how I came across this, but I have that too. Um, Slaughterhouse Five, Three Musketeers, um, Heart of Darkness, Tales of Ancient Egypt. I'm really into ancient Egypt folklore and stuff like that, but um, this is just like a little book of tales. I don't think I'll ever reread that. <clears throat> and then I have two mass markets of book five and six in the Fever series. I do have hardcovers of these already. Um, when I first read the series, I read mass markets. So I have these kind of hanging about. I don't need them. So in the free library, they go. <sighs> I have so many books. I have so many books. Um, the first Game of Thrones, I started reading the series and I don't think I'm going to continue it. I really love the TV show and I've rewatched that over and over, but the books are a bit dry for me, so I don't think I'm going to read them. This one I've um, highlighted in and stuff like that when I read it, so I don't want to sell it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in a free library. The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. The Story of B by Daniel Quinn. This is actually book two in a series. I have all three books. I really love the first book, Ishmael. Highly recommend if you're looking for something kind of um, philosophical and will get you thinking commentary on society and that sort of thing. I thought it was really wonderful. Naked hardcover, I'd rather get a different edition. And then this is book two and three. I've only read book two. I've not read book three. Um, it's basically like just a similar story to this one, but told in a slightly different way. Same kind of commentary. I don't think I need all three editions. The second one was just okay. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Little Star by John Avide Linkovitz. I haven't read this one yet. It does sound interesting. It is a book that I still want to read, but I will just listen to the audio. It's quite a chunky one. What Dreams May Come. Haven't read this one yet, but I do want a different edition, and this one's all highlighted in. I pulled it out of a free library, so it's just going to go back in. Um, this is a astrology book illuminating the mysteries of the 12th house. I don't need it. Uh, a Christmas Carol Murder. I won't ever read that. 
This is an ARC that I read ages ago, years ago. I did enjoy this, but I'll never read it again. Going in a free library, The Girl from Raw Blood by Katriana Ward. I haven't read this one yet, but it's like an old library copy. I don't like it on my shelf because it has the sticker on it. And it's not a sticker I can take off because it's wrapped in that like sticky plastic stuff. So um, I did get a refund for this, so I didn't end up paying for it. So I'm just gonna put it in a free library and pass it on to someone who doesn't mind that it looks like that. Sorry if you can hear yard work. My neighbor is out there doing stuff and I'm about to leave. I wanna take these, so I gotta film this now. Um, 50 Shades of Grey, one, two, three, and book one told from Grey's perspective. Um, I've only read book one, and it was one that I, I think I DNF'd it. Um, I'm not really interested in reading these. I think I just grabbed them out of a free library or maybe Goodwill or something um, for like 50 cents. So I'm just getting them off my shelf. I'm never going to read them. Um, a Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. I picked this up when I was in like my romance era that was very short lived, but I ended up finding out this was a YA and I'm not interested. The Alchemist, The Four Agreements, more from, more from the Fever series. These are all naked hardcovers. As you can see, this is book one through four. So someone will get books one through six. Um, but I have hardcovers that are in better, that actually have the, the dust jacket. So I don't need these. Same thing with Interview with the Vampire. I already have other editions of this. I don't need this naked one. Outlander by Diana Gavaldon. Getting rid of that. It's like a thousand page book. If I ever get around to it, I'll read this audio. Slammerkin by Emma Donahue. I haven't read this one yet and I do still want to, but this edition's kind of messed up, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, Shadow and the Ember by Jennifer Armentrout. I feel like this would sell on Pango, but some of the pages are falling out and I pulled this out of a free library, so it's just gonna go back in. Um, I think that's like a fantasy, vampire fantasy, I think. Um, the Emotionally Absent Mother. This is a nonfiction. Enough about that. Um, the House of Sand and Fog. Book two in the Girl with All the Gifts series. This one has a uh, water damage to it, so get rid of that. History of Wolves by Emily Frumland. Um, I never got around to reading this, but it doesn't have great reviews and it's been sitting on my shelves for like four years, so it can go. Um, do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Getting rid of this one. I did really enjoy this, but I don't need a copy for my shelves. Um, the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. Kite Runner. Labyrinth by Kate Moss. And... Richard Bachman's The Regulators. Um, I do also have a couple. Of, I do also have a couple of astrology books I want to get rid of that are messed up. Planets and Aspects, <clears throat> and a book about Neptune. Um, this is just like I don't know why I got these. These are just. <laughs> I'm never going to like read a book about like this about Neptune. I will read something much more approachable. But, you know, if you really want to study about Neptune in astrology um, and then this one just goes over planetary aspects, this is actually pretty helpful. But I don't need this. I don't need this. So I'm going to get rid of both of those. And I'll probably get rid of this one too. Planets in Transit, which is much like this. But this is about aspects. These are about transits. And, um, you know, good for anyone who's just getting into astrology, I guess. I, it's a little bit dry in the way that it's told, though. Um, I don't really like these kind of textbooks types of things. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, um, 
It's a lot of books. <laughs> it's a lot of books um, that I'm going to be taking. Let me count real quick. Let me count. 61 books. 61 books that I'm getting off of my shelf and are going into free libraries. Hopefully someone out there in my town will get enjoyment from these because um, they're just wasting space on my shelves. See, look, I got this whole open shelf now. So exciting. Okay, um, so I'm going to go take these around. You can come with me and hopefully I can get rid of all of these. All right, we are at Free Little Library 1. I'm going to go over and look and see what kind of space I am going to have in there and then um, come back, grab the books, fill it up, and then I will show you what I end up dropping at this one. Okay, I'm back in my car. Um, <laughs> the lady that owns the house uh, walked up right as I was just about to take my video and show what I put in there. Um, but I spent a few minutes cleaning it up so that I could make space and I got about 20 books in there. I'll include the video after this of just like a few seconds of me just like showing what I put in there. Um, but yeah, I got 20 books in there. So that's exciting. 40 more to go. All right. I am at Free Little Library 2. It's, this one's really small and it's looking like it's pretty full from here. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anything in there, but I'm gonna go check it out and see. All right, I was actually able to get quite a few in here. So I got these and a few down here. So I got one, oops, this one's backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So that's cool, 30 down. All right, last one. This one is looking kind of full, but I think I still have space to get some stuff in there. Well, I was able to get some in there. I got about 20 books in there. So I do still have some left over, but pretty good unload. All right, so this is what I have left over. Not too shabby for starting with over 60 books. I actually found a couple extra books in my car. Um, so I tried to get rid of those as well. So I think I ended up with at least 65 books. And I did find book number three. I noticed it wasn't uh, with my with my other stack. So I found that and that's going to. I didn't end up getting rid of it though. Um, but I have, let's see, three... Six, I mean nine, a little less than 20 left over, which means I got rid of over 40 books, close to 50, because I ended up having like five more books in here. So yeah, I ended up getting rid of a ton. So these will live in my trunk and then over the next month or so, whenever I think about it, I'll go back over to that side of town and try and get rid of the rest of these but yay all right so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching as always links to everything down in the description i will also have a link to a website where you can find local free libraries in your area i didn't know about it until last year so maybe some of you don't know but if you're looking for free libraries in your area go to the website enter your address I'm not sponsored in any way, but go to the website, enter your address, and it'll show you local ones. Um, great way to offload books that you don't know what to do with, and also a great way to like exchange books and stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!